Hello, Virtual English 2 students. We made it to our last day of reading Wyatt Walker by Malcolm Gladwell. And so uh, I'm just going to kind of walk you through a couple of the things that we talked about today. The first one I want to talk about is what has transposed over the past 24 hours? Uh, actually, it was because I record I record these after school, if you haven't noticed, and like I had no idea what was going on. And I got home to discover like and my wife was watching TV to see all of that happening at the Capitol. So uh, a teaching opportunity has fallen into my lap with that. There is some similarities and differences between what happened yesterday and what is happening in uh, this piece of literature we're reading today. Uh, Feel free in your annotations to make those connections. I would encourage you to, because the part of, purpose of reading uh, is to be able to take the information and help you understand the world around you. And this should hopefully help you understand the things that happened yesterday through both the contrast and the comparisons to what happened with what happened. So I would encourage you to do that. I, that's not the reason why we're reading this, of course. It's just a happy coincidence. Well, not necessarily happy, but it's a coincidence that has occurred that a lot, that is a teaching teachable opportunity for y'all if you have not finished your annotations yet. Uh, so uh, with this particular part of the text, uh, we, start, we started in part five and uh, we get introduced to the idea of Project C. And there are certain elements of Project C that are vital. There's three steps. The most important part is talking about the gels being filled. They have to fill the gels. That is key. And then we get a nice little tidbit about a failure Dr. King experienced earlier on in the civil rights movement. And we get a nice little slice of life here on page 179 about it's not a, an important detail to this whole grand story. In fact, it's a very throwaway kind of tangential, like uh, not even necessary portion of this, but that little snippet is an interesting one to read nonetheless. But we uh, continue on to page 180 and we continue to see just how this movement is struggling to get people involved. And there's a lot of good reasons why they can't get people involved. They can't get people to show up. And then we get to where the movement is being able to finally become Burr Rabbit finally able to play a trick and that is seen on 181 to 182 and the reason why is a very interesting one and I'm not going to paint it out for you but I really really encourage you to read at least the bottom of 181 and all of 182 for you to be able to see why they were able to get this advantage now this advantage that they all of a sudden find does not solve the problem that they need bodies in jail and that's where 183 comes into play. And that's where the gray area of this particular story begins to take place. Uh, I will say that what you read from 183 all the way to 180 to the, for the rest of the story is unsettling sometimes, but it was a necessity. If they didn't do what they did, uh, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 would have never been passed. That photo, if they never did what they did, that photograph would never been taken. That Civil Rights Act of 1964 would probably have never been passed. And as a result, in 1965, black students wouldn't be walking in the in the hallways here at Portage Hill High School. Some of your friends uh, that are in your class wouldn't be here, and actually, some of them probably wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for the Civil Rights Act of 1964. If it wasn't for that picture being taken and that picture being kind of orchestrated by Wyatt Walker, Dr. King, and Fred Shuttlesworth. So uh, the rest of it is a very intense read, but it is worth the read, and I would highly encourage you to finish off that particular section. Tomorrow uh, in class, we are going to, I'm going to look at annotations, and then we are going to, I'm going to give them the entire hour to work on the 250 word thing. Uh, the 250 word writing prompt of, over Wyatt Walker, where you share with me your thoughts. It's not just a summary of what happened. Uh, you are showing how this story has impacted and made you understand the world in a different way. Uh, so that's what we're talking about. So that's what you're doing uh, tomorrow. Uh, that's what we talked about today. Uh, and I will change the due date for the annotations to tomorrow for everybody online. And I will see you all then later. All right. That's all I got for you for day three. Bye-bye.